Alright, we're gonna have some story play out here. Um, not a lot in terms of animation. Uh, you know, I'm not really gonna fault the creators for not taking too much time and effort on in the story, because it's a Mega Man story and time and effort aren't really too needed. Uh, and it's visually interesting enough. Um, and it's unique. I do like how they play up the the mystery angle of, of who kidnapped Dr. Wily, even though, you know... <coughs> uh, I knew who it was from the very first shot of him, um, and I'm sure many others did. That's just kind of funny. It's kind of like the whole Mr. X thing from Mega Man 6. Did anybody really not think it was Wily? I don't think so. Uh, a strange thing about this game, actually, is that the cutscenes will play every time you load the save uh, game after this, uh, instead of just the first time, which I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, um, but I'm pretty sure that it also plays after you... Well, I will get to that, so I'll mention it when we get to it. Uh, here we have how you enter the bonus stage. Yoku Man, who pops up periodically, and you just gotta make sure you grab him in time. So we are in this one. Let's give it a go. Now, in terms of visual design, I absolutely love this level. I think it's second only to Nail Man stage for me. Uh, I love the way that they use the, uh, the sounds of the Yoku blocks in the actual music composition. Um, and they do a lot with it. Like, these ones seem a little weird, but then you realize they are enemies, and they can chase after you. Great introduction to those, uh, copy Mega Mans from Plug Man Stage and Mega Man 9. I think it was Plug Man Stage. Uh, here we have a really cool gimmick. See, now this is incredibly unique. I, I love the idea of having an obstacle that doesn't actually impede you in any kind of direct fashion. Like, it doesn't slow down your movement or anything of that sort. It just changes the visual look of the stage. I think that's incredibly unique and can be used in so many ways. Very effective. Uh, I guess it's somewhat similar to the uh, the things in Shadow Man stage in Mega Man 3 uh, that make the whole place look like stars, but this is, uh, I think this is far more clever. We also have new Yoku blocks that are uh, spikes. I also think that's a really cool idea. There's a lot of room for timing puzzles on this uh, and just switching up the gameplay in general. really like the music. I think it's a, it's a very cool track. Um, just super impressed with it. Uh, now, I mentioned that I'm, I'd use Jet Missile a lot, and this is a great situation for when it would be useful. Because I don't want to bother with those people. So let's just get that out of the way so we can see a little better. Now, without that, you still have, uh, like, the energy capsule below, so you know, kind of have an idea of where the ground stops. So even if I decided to not kill them, uh, and I remembered the, the look of the level, I would be able to make it to that ladder pretty okay. Resurgence of these enemies from Mega Man 9 as well. Um, in terms of actually like borrowing elements from uh, Mega Man 9, um, this game doesn't do it all too often, which is surprising considering this was supposed to kind of be the, the sequel to Mega Man 9 when it was first envisioned. And they're a very welcome addition, they really fit into this whole um, illusion-based boss layout. Uh, yes! I love being able to make that shot. Uh, one more of these guys. And now, here's uh, probably the trickiest section in the entire level. Uh, it's a set of Yoku blocks completely over a pit, and the timing is really rough and tricky. Um, you can get kind of lucky with it, but a lot of it uh, takes some memorization. Uh, uh, and you have these enemies that'll chase you for frickin' ever. Oh no! And see, I hate this. That enemy spawns so far back, and they still chase me over here. Um, you can't run from enemies in this game, because of uh, the, how I mentioned before. Like, an enemy will spawn, uh, and will not despawn when you, uh, like, clip them off the side of the screen, but they will respawn, so... Uh, I don't know, I feel that's something with the engine that should have been fixed. Ooh, I want a one-up. Gimme, gimme! Oops. Well, we'll just climb our way back up. Nothing too difficult. Uh, wait for this guy to get out of our way. And then... A bit of a tricky jump, but nothing too radical. Uh, now I just gotta remember... <coughs> where, where the actual blocks are, because I wasn't paying attention. I got kind of lucky there. Or maybe I have a good memory. Uh, this is actually my second time going through this stage, so... I'm doing pretty decently in terms of remembering how this goes. <coughs> now the thing about Yoku blocks is, like in any game, you just kind of... Gotta remember their pattern. Um, 
I actually really like Yoku blocks in their use in the game because so many of them are introduced in really safe areas. And there's always a place like right here where you can just kind of stand and look at the pattern and plan your, uh, the way that you're going to traverse them. Um, so I really like how they affect the gameplay. The only time I really didn't like them was in Mega Man 2, but that's because not only did they have some kind of cheap ones there, uh, but the timing was all wrong. These are always on a very set rhythm. They always appear at the same pace, no matter what. Whereas in Mega Man 2, I know, especially in a difficult mode, it just kind of did it randomly, and at times, like, it just had no rhythm to it. Um, so that was something that was very much fixed uh, after Mega Man 2. Um, and here I really appreciate it. Then again, I'm, I don't in any way doubt that I'm going to die <laughs> at least once. Ah! Okay, okay. I got this. Okay, I don't got this. I suck. Suck. No! Oh, and these guys are not who I think they were. Okay. Oh, this is tough. You know what? When things are just a little too tough, why bother with them? <laughs> oh. I feel really silly now. Who's gonna know that's a pit that you can drop into? Haha, <laughs> you can't get- Oh, shit, these guys can jump pretty high. Um, and if I believe... Yes, okay, so we have, uh, kind of the, the fake floors for Mega Man 2 again. Um, in terms of weapons that can reveal the pathway, we don't really have, uh, like a floor thing here. We, we can... Oh, and we can't even really use glue shot, so... Uh, I'm not sure if this was very tailored well, like, tailored very well to, uh, the weapon side of this game. Any other game that has kind of these fake floors has a, a floor-traveling weapon that can kind of reveal them. Uh, like bubbles, or bubble man things. Uh, in here it's all about, uh, picking the right path. Uh, ah! Sorry, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, so it's all about picking the right path, uh, and it's kind of like the, that one castle in, uh, the first Super Mario Brothers, where if you pick the wrong path, the, it will just continue forever. Um, there's a little bit of trial and error for this, uh, but... Oh, shoot. But for the most part, it's all about picking the path that's hardest to get to. Um, so for example, I'm, I, I suspect I want to go all the way to the right. I said all the way to the right. Can I jump that? Yeah, there it is. See? There's, there's always the hardest path. Um, so now I know I went the right way, uh, and in this case, I want to be going all the way across, I figure. Okay, now how am I gonna do this? Oh, whoops, that's the wrong rush. Okay, we got this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that so much. Um. Oh, I don't want to go back, because you can go back, but it, since it's technically going the wrong way, it'll, um... <clears throat> It'll despawn, like, uh, the way that you're going, uh, and it'll make me, uh, have to redo this section, so you just gotta time it very carefully. You can't go back in this, you can't think it twice, um, you've always gotta know that you're going the right way. Uh, so here, <coughs> very reminiscent of some climbing puzzles in, um, I wanna say Mega Man 4. Now in terms of this one, I'm not sure what the correct way is. Um, let's try this ladder. Yeah, that feels right. Let's not get hit. Oh, I was just about to go. It's a good thing I waited to see how this pattern worked before uh, attempting the leap. Nothing too tricky. Um, and here again, I want to take... No! No! Or no, I don't want to take the upper path. I want to take this path. I remember this now. Uh, this is probably the only really crappy part of this, uh, because this is just completely trial and error. Like, which way here would you think you'd want to go? I think... I would naturally think that the way to go is right, because then you have to uh, bypass this enemy, but if I remember correctly, that's the wrong path. Yeah. So I was supposed to go left, which I don't think really makes any sense, and kind of uh, betrays the design of this whole area by making the easier path be the correct one. Uh, so I can't say I appreciate that all too well. Nothing over there, as far as I can tell. So let's just go this way. Okay. There we go. I'm like, where's my blocks? Let's just spawn this guy and get him out of the- ow. Get him out of the way so I don't have to worry about him, I was going to say, but then he hurt me anyway. Um, I think I might be able to just jump up to that one platform, so let's not even worry about the rest of it. Ah, Rush, since when were you timed? 
No! Okay, I can't jump to that one, but I can jump to this one here. There we go. Uh, okay, more jumpy puzzles. One, two, three, drop. Wait, jump, pause, fall, wait, jump. It's all about really getting the timing down. Oh, ah, you got me. Okay, now I wish that I could just kind of take the uh, rush jet all the way up there, but it's not that easy. So let's think about the timing here. Jump. Jump. Pause. Jump. Or no, not jump. Alright, I may screw this up, but let's hope not. Jump. Jump. Pause. Jump. Jump. And we're gone! Yes! We're making some progress. Can I just go here? Damn it! I really just wanted to go. You know what? Forget you! And forget her too. Oh, need this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't think that one was gonna spawn right above me. Shoot! Oh, and I gotta do this again. Alright, we're gonna have to jump forward a bit after I catch up. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back here, but unfortunately I ran out of rush jet energy, so I have to do this the hard way. I don't think I've ever actually attempted. Oh uh, no! I don't like your dirty tricks. Ah, okay, got that out of the way. Now let's just wait for a moment. Like I said, that that one area before with the uh, the like really big pit was the only super difficult area of this level. Otherwise, it's fairly uh, decently balanced. Ow! Go away. Yeah. I don't like that jump. <laughs> um, I don't want to run through this. Don't chase me. Ah! Just gonna go for it. See ya. <laughs> oh, well, let's get that one out of the way. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna stand here for a second. I want to know where all the spikes are. So I remember that this was just the spike room. Oh, but I just want to drop down. Why are you making this difficult for me? Okay, I got this. I got the timing down. Oh ho ho! Okay, wait, and then that. I've got this easy. Boom, and then get out of here. Ow, go away. Oh no, ow. Uh, get out of here too. No! Alright. Now let's get ourselves some. Ow. I, I should have seen that coming, and yet somehow. Um, let's get ourselves a life. Oops. Oh, I made it. We should be nearing the end of the level now, I hope. This one seems really long. Oh, shh. How are you supposed to hit him? Forget it. I don't even care. But I'll take my free goodies. Okay. Alright, now we got to think about this. How am I going to attack that guy? Uh, I'm going to have to climb down to the bottom of the ladder here and be super quick. Ow, speaking of super quick. Jump, jump, jump. We're okay. Uh, and now let's just take this the easy way. I'm not sure what the right way to do this is, but we have Rush Jet, so why not use it? And finally, we are at the boss. Um, so overall, not too bad of a stage. I really like the visual design more than anything, and uh, aside from that one really big section uh, where you're above the pit, uh, nothing too challenging platform-wise. Um, although there are some inconsistencies with the, you know, guess which way to go through the maze thing. I don't think maze design in Mega Man games really fits too well, but... Whatever, it's 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 not a huge deal. Um, I don't personally like it, but I wouldn't say that it's really detracting from the gameplay to a, a wholly negative uh, degree. Um, but now we have a boss who, yet again, has a one-hit kill move. Um, in fact, he can summon spikes. And wow, you think that's a bad idea? Oh, it is a bad idea. Oh, and we can already see another major problem with this boss in that... Oh, that doesn't even kill him, I forget. Yeah, that's a little fun joke, I guess. Um, but yeah, as you saw... Ugh! As you saw, there's a big problem with uh, dodging this boss, because uh, it's it's pretty much random where he appears. Um, and you can get really unlucky with him appearing right on you, and just like now, I have to wait for him to come back down. 
So, the whole spike thing isn't too bad. It's dodgeable if you know it's coming, but it's still not a good idea by any stretch of the imagination. Also, just that whole platforming section up there is really goddamn annoying, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. You know what? I don't want to use an E tank, but uh, W tanks are more plentiful, and I believe they're cheaper. So let's just... There we go. So it's, it's an interesting idea for a fight. I do like the idea of chasing him upwards, uh, including spikes at the bottom. Not the nicest idea, especially for first-time players who are going to be like, really? Spikes? Death spikes in a fight? An enemy that can summon death spikes? I mean, if there's an enemy that can summon death spikes, why don't they just summon them right on uh, right on top of me? That makes more sense. Um, so yeah, I can't say... Um... <laughs> I love the animation of that move. Um, but it has its problems. I'll get into those later. Um, but yeah, I have some issues with it. Uh, overall, bonus level is uh, is fairly fairly decently designed. It's it's one of the better ones, I think. Um, one that I, I appreciate for the most part. It has a few flaws. Uh, one I, I think is pretty major. That whole above uh, pit section um, is a little unreasonable and takes far too much memorization and just kind of guesswork for a, a lot of the timing on when those platforms will appear. Um, but the rest of it is is very well done. Boss fight, I don't like the idea of any one-hit kill moves for bosses, that's just a bad, non-Mega Man idea. Um, and the whole making him, you know, joke explode every time you hit him on the bottom, it just gets tedious, and it's another one of those fights that takes too long. I mean, think of the longest Mega Man fight that you've ever had in the main series, and it's half the length of any of the boss fights in this game, so... Um, I, don't, I don't think that's, that should be the case. Uh, and, as you saw, you can just get really unlucky with which platform he decides to jump to and, you know, get knocked down over and over again. But I get up again. Um, you ain't never gonna keep me down, so it's okay. Sorry, I had to. Um, but that, that's that. Uh, let's move on from there, because all we have left are the Wily stages. And that's going to be, oh, so much fun, let's say. Uh, we're gonna be switching gears for sure, because um, whereas I've been... I'd like to think mostly positive in terms of the design of the game so far. Uh, the Wily stages, I will have a lot less nice things to say than I will have critical things to say. Um, so, we'll see you when we get there. Later.